Okay, so this is my hair dry now. I use this one. Let me see if I'm putting it the wrong way. Like that. This one. Really nice um, cream. So this is how my hair look now. And as you can see, it's, it's more like moisture. It has that look of moisture, not dry. Because like I said, curly hair has a lot of maintenance. But this is not... This video is gonna be a mixture of everything today. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do my fingerprints. As I said, I moved to the coconut area and I'm going to go to this place. Let me put on, let me put on my other contact because I'm going to do my contact. Mm-hmm. Because I can't see without glasses. I don't know. Oi! Oh my god, my eyes. Where did it go? Okay, stop. Shit. Sometimes that shit happens anyway. No worries. No, let's hear it. Real diablo. <laughs> Esta cosa desinfecta. No me crees de que, oh, me eché eso y, ay, oh, le lo, no. Esto desinfecta. O si no, usen esta también. Yo uso lentes de contacto. So, ya estoy preparando para hacer las huellas. Para una nueva oferta de trabajo. Pero también les estoy mostrando cómo me quedó de crees por el pelo con ese producto. Mira, mira el crespero. Mira el crespero. O sea que este producto sí funciona. Yo antes estaba usando este, ¿cierto? Pero me he dado cuenta que como que el pelo, el, el, el cabello se vuelve como, como con su propia personalidad. Entonces a veces cosas funcionan por un tiempo y después ya dejan de funcionar. Así me pasó con Sedal. Entonces ahora... Y se switch para este. Entonces vamos a ver. Me parece que ya sea no me, no me, no me, se da adelante me hacía esta abundancia así de crespo. Pero ya después como que comenzó y no me funcionó. Entonces um, hay un website acá en los Poconas. There's a website en the Poconas where you do your... Um, let me, let me lower it. Atlantic, where you do your fingerprints and it's called in, intent entangle or something like that so I'm going to show you the website wait a minute let me just go in I'm not showing you my passport no 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 my password no yes okay so this is what I'm talking about Oh, I, I have that heck out. I'm gonna. Ay, será que cuando uno empieza estas cosas, you can switch it? How do you switch it? Oh, shit. No. That's how the, 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 the background check goes, and then you follow the instructions, you fill out your name, everything, you keep going, employer citizenship, where you blah, 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 blah. Then they charge you like $25 or $22 for it. And then you go. So I'm getting ready for that. And then you just click walk-ins. It's better to do a walk-in. You don't need an appointment. Because there isn't that many people anyway. So that's what. Where is the best place in the Poconos to find a job? I'm going to show you the website. So that's that's what's... I was saying in the other video about the Poconuts that that is what's happening right now. That um, you you get an opportunity, um, like like in New York, 
I was able to get an opportunity of work because, you know, of, of what just I just explained right now. And then they will call you because at some point they'll say, okay, this lady has a bachelor's. Like, she can write. She could do reports. She could do this, this, and that. The only thing, she just didn't have it in what we wanted to have. But she does have the experience. So let's call this lady. Uh, we we'll tell her that she has to do this much, um, um, you know, whatever in, in, in... Professional development, that's how they say it. okay. Professional development and blah 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 blah. That's it, they hire you, but in here, no, they I think it's because they, they don't have the capability, the um, they're not capable of training you, like they don't have that in place. Probably, I don't know, it's just too much. So, I don't know. So, I'm getting ready to do those fingerprints. I'm applying. I I been approved for an employment opportunity to work as a caseworker finally with children. And um and the only reason why they have approved me, right, which I believe is the reason that I have like, if you see my, my transcript, I have a damn master's in education. The thing I have done in this school, 15 credits. In the other school, I've done other, other 15 credits and blah, blah, blah. So I don't have, like, an actual master's from a school. But I did bits and bits from different schools. Because I was trying to become, you know, to become a teacher. And then that I fell in that. Like, I couldn't become a teacher. It's too much becoming a teacher in New York. So much shit going on with uh, taking the exams and... and and I have tried, and then for one or two points you don't pass. Then they changed the systems of they they eliminated the the last test, L L L S T. They they just abolish it. They declare they declared the last unconstitutional. Right. So okay. So I was like, yeah, they declared it unconstitutional. So what happens? You know, it was only two points. Can can you just guys give me a passing grade? No. I have to pass something called the ATSW or something like it, No. ATSW is, is, is the other one. Another one. L A S T something like that. And that test is even worse than the one they declare unconstitutional. <laughs> People don't pass that test. It's like an essay. And then they took it to a judge. I heard. Then the judge said, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. It's not unconstitutional. So you Latinos and blacks deal with it. <laughs> so it's worse than before. So so then I give up my dreams of becoming a, a New York City public school teacher. So they don't understand that um, people that look like me need to be working for them, you see? But they have certain standards and it's so weird that just their people pass those tests, but I can't pass those tests. So what the heck, you know? I don't know, maybe I'm too dumb. I don't know, you let me know. But that's, that was my, that's my story. Like, uh, I fell, I passed the ATSW, which is simple. That's a good test. That's a simple test. But then the other ones, the CST and, and the last during the, that time. And, and now they put in place another one that I took like three times. And I said, I'm not wasting my money no more. I said, they could shove it. It's too much. Why, after taking so many credits, after after doing so many credits, oh, 30, you need 25 credits of education and anything, blah, 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 and this and that, and blah, 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 and student teaching, because now they're, like, forcing that student teaching, and the unconventional, like, using your paid experience, they have taken it away, and also in PA, they don't do that paid experience here like they used to do it in New York. So I don't know what's the story now. I don't know. So I give up being 
you know, becoming a teacher. And, um, you know, it's, it's, they don't understand. These people that make the, law, the laws and rules and regulations and blah, blah, blah. That a kid that is Latino, that a kid that is black, Indian, or whatever other race different from the white people, need to see people that look like them teaching them. They just don't get it. Right? So why not create a system where it's like, okay, you, you already took all these credits. Present your transcript here. You, here's your license. You, we understand you saw those math hundred years ago, and we're not gonna ask you again about algebra or whatever because we know you did it, and we know you're not gonna teach it. So why do we care about it? We just want you to. No, they don't do that stuff. So, so it's it's annoying. So I give up being a teacher. I said it. I don't care anymore. I need a job and anything. I need to pay my bills. So I could be like, um, my story maybe has been repeated in other people, maybe different ways or similar ways. I've spoken to many people about that. And they say, girl, I give up. I went to another route. So this is another confession I'm going to make. Like, I feel that the damn colleges are so criminal. Because they sell you these bachelors. And then I fall for it. I fall for it. Oh. Um. You know, stay in school and and do this because if you don't stay in school, you're not gonna have a job, you're gonna be nobody, and blah blah blah. Future this, future my ass, right? And then can't find a job in the area where you study because at certain point these schools have not figured it out. How the fuck these people will get a job if they don't have experience within the field that we just sold them, right? So they need to do better because I graduated from a master's degree at Toro College with uh, instructional technology. And I'm not an instructional person. No, no job as a teacher of computers or as a corporate level, whatever they said. When you go and apply for those jobs. Uh, oh, how much experience do you have? And blah, 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 and this and that, and blah. Oh, but you, you only did it as a corporate level. You didn't do the student teaching and blah, blah, blah. So then that's it, You they, they don't hire you. And then if you wanna go to the private sector, they pay you pennies. And for what they charge for that master's, it's not fair. So um, another thing I could say is that the schools are criminals selling this bachelor so expensive when I could use my master's degree as toilet paper because I have not earned a penny with it. I earn money more with my BA that I did in Queens College than the one I did in Toro College. So uh, I could hang it on my wall. <laughs> yes, I have a master's. But I don't have a job within my master's. No, nothing. So. Think about when you do these masters, honestly, because sometimes they're not worth it. They're just going to enslave you into those um, student loans that you will not be able to pay. And then you keep paying them, paying them, paying them, and that shit don't go down. So I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. So... That is something that I, I, I see, and it's, it's a true testimony. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. So it's something that you guys uh, need to consider when you're choosing a career to whether you're going to really, um, you know, pursue that and how, how long it takes. I think it's so criminal 
having so many people investing so much money for education and they're in the unemployment line or working in areas that they never even study with or that they couldn't get those licensing methods why you need a freaking license i just don't get it why when you done everything you you have presented projects you did uh you know like not me but other people have done the 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 student teaching and they have presented you know evidence that these people really came to their to their um room and observed them and plus that a freaking test 80 no not even 80 there are 152 and 75 and blah, 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 175 like that no those licensing methods is just making money they're not doing nothing good for the people so be careful for, for what type of career you choose because you might be wasting your your money and time i should have just stayed with my with my ba and the and the credits that i did on the side for education those things have given me like believe me my associate's degree in human services and early childhood has given me more money because people hire me because of that and they let me work with kids and and my expenses and blah 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 then my ba so be careful so like i was saying finding um a job here has cost me so much time and now I have, you know, one offer as a caseworker for the Department of Youth and Services. And I'm having another offer. I applied since the summertime when I arrived here in 2018. And I thought they, was, they were going to call me for the Hazleton office. And they did not call me from the Hazleton office what and then you remember i told you oh because you don't live in here so people will will be considered over you and blah 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 so probably they interview a lot of people and they didn't like it so they must have uh, called me and they'll say okay let's try this colombian chick from henryville <laughs> so probably that's why they're calling me maybe all oh, the candidates they didn't like after how many months i arrived here july julio julio agosto septiembre octubre noviembre diciembre enero febrero marzo nine months después de nueve meses me llamar entonces el, el tengo también esa entrevista y voy a mirar a ver cuál escojo es con el departamento de the licenses, um, the licensing examiner, something like that is called, but I'm not sure because they work on Saturdays. And, uh, and then the other one from the youth services, they, they work on a Monday to Friday, but then you're on call and you'll probably be working on a Saturday. But, you know, chances maybe that you'll be doing overtime. I don't know, but it's not like this one that day. It's a more set schedule. So, I don't know. I have some things to do. I'll let you um i let you know but i have made my mind i'm not gonna let you know i made my mind already because my friend told me i mean with the department of of the license and everything it's a set salary you're not gonna make overtime money and you know they all do races here and there whatever whatever the con the union contract is, but making extra money and growth, it's not that much, but the Department of Youth and Services, there's growth there. So since I want to grow and, and do other stuff, I have made my mind, but still I'm going to the interview anyway to see, because I don't know, I'm just making this, 
I'm just basing it upon what people is telling me, but I need to see it for myself. Yeah. And then I'll make my decision. I still gotta go. And then um for for the caseworker, you have to you must have a reliable vehicle. So if you don't have a vehicle that covers over one hundred thousand dollars or something like that, you have to pay some extra money or something like that. I don't know. So they say to call my insurance company. So I'm gonna see what is that about and if that's gonna blow it up. Because they don't they do not provide you the transportation you must have reliable copiers so that's when people say oh my god like 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 what they said classifies um just for the middle class and classify just for the poor and and what if you just came out of school with a ba you don't have a reliable vehicle like that and you and your parents are barely making it and then you can't have that job. You see? Like I have a car because I can live without one. Since you know, I you know, since New York City, I always have a car. Always had a car. Essentially mother with three kids. Hell no. I know how parents do without a car in New York City and having a bunch of kids. I don't know how they do it. Honestly, <laughs> I do this because I don't know how to do it. So imagine, like someone just plain came out of college and has no money or reliable vehicle of other ones they're asking to have. It's like, wow. Mm -hmm. And like, who's going to get this job, you know? We want someone that is able to take care of themselves. <laughs> so, I don't know what you think, but I think that's what it is. So, that's kind of my testimony. So, I'm getting ready for the fingerprints. I want to look nice in my pictures. Okay. Um, and then see. Because once I choose, like I said in the other videos, I can't be doing that job pumping if I didn't like this job. Because then it has fingerprints and clearance, I will have to pay it all over again. So I know my, my, my videos are kind of long and boring, probably for some. But those that are really planning to come here to the Poconuts, they really will enjoy my video because it's a real testimony of a person who's really trying to make it here. Because honestly, I can't go back to New York. Huh! Getting another truck and going back over there? No. <laughs> no. No mas moving. So, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, so I was fingerprinted already at the Identico. And let's see what happens. They give you two receipts, one for your employer one for you then if you know you don't hear for them you call them they'll send you an email you have to be ready to print because you only get one shot to get that certificate once you fingerprint um that's it very easy i did it um in bush kill um and the address is let me see it's a it's um by a cashier place you will see a, a big apple beauty supply if you you know like if you're in the Pocono area this is the closest if you live in monroe county and it's 155 the building by milford road okay so this is where everything starts okay so i hope i don't do this again that's it and once you get hired if you stay in that job maybe in two to five years so depending on the job 
sometimes they say oh you need to redo it within a year again because they do not keep the information as the mass like as the massive system that new york city has where they able to keep all that information this is a town this is a rural area so they don't keep those things okay bye